Let's now look at how to insert links and anchors within a page. You can either highlight the text to be used as the link and click the Link button, or just click the Link button. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to open the link menu, Control plus K for Windows or Command plus K for Mac. A pop-up window appears with fields for entering the link and displaying text, along with a list of recently viewed pages. You can paste a link in the field or search for recently viewed Confluence blogs or pages. In the next field, you can add or edit the text to be displayed for the link. Refer to the Confluence bookmark section at the end of this course to learn more about links. Let's now look at how to add emojis to the content. Sometimes words just aren't enough. When that's the case, use symbols, emojis, and special characters to add extra meaning and dazzle to your pages, blogs, and other Confluence content. Say you have mentioned about some updates in your page. You could indicate the update and add a relevant emoji next to it. Click the Emoji button on the toolbar and select the desired emoji. You can also include your custom emojis by clicking Add to your own emoji and selecting the emoji file from your computer. You can also add emojis to your page using keyboard shortcuts. Refer to the Confluence user guide for more details. Once you have updated the page with all content and formatting, click Publish to view how the changes done in the page will appear for the visitors. That brings us to the end of this video on formatting content. In this video, you learned how to insert links and anchors, add emojis.